the most popular categories in the Dakar Rally are the trucks. Now, these guys leave the bivouac early in the morning. They head out onto the stage, and because the average speeds are just a little bit lower, they arrive at the next bivouac late at night. Very long days for these guys. Now, let's take a closer look. It weighs about 10 tonnes in total, starting at the front. Huge suspension system. It's a double strut system, which is supported by a leaf spring, and you need all that support because often, remember, these trucks are in the air and they come slamming down in the middle of a stage. Moving down to the engine, it's a 13-litre diesel unit that's powered by a single turbo. Look at the size of this thing. It's absolutely ginormous. Now, that's fed by an air inlet, which is at the top of the cab. Now, the reason that's up at the top instead of the bottom is because if it was at the bottom, it would just be sucking in sand and dust. So they mount that at the top. It comes down this pipe here into this ginormous filter, which filters out any sand or dust, which may, it may be sucked in. It then feeds this enormous turbo, and that's what produces over a thousand brake horsepower. Now, moving down the truck, the other thing that you'll notice is everything is low. You want to keep a center of gravity as low as possible. If you start putting weight up high, it means the truck is more likely to be unstable and roll on the stage. So everything's kept low. It's very, very low slung. The other thing, the wheels. Take a look at the size of this. It's a 37590 size tire with a 22 and a half inch rim. It's absolutely ginormous. It's bolted onto the truck with a 12 stud system. Now, if you're out on the stage and you pick up a puncture, to change one of these takes between 10 and 15 minutes on stage and you need three people to do it which means inside the truck you've got a driver a navigator and an engineer believe me you need all three to keep one of these things going through the stage now this is just one 350 litre diesel tank there's another one on the other side making 700 and you've got a 200 litre diesel tank here. So that gives you 900 in total. Now this thing uses on average one litre per kilometre, but if the terrain is particularly tough, you can see it using two litres of diesel per kilometre. The other thing that's worth mentioning is the braking system. Now on the Kamaz, it uses a drum brake on all four corners. You might be asking yourself, well, why aren't they using discs? Well, the issue with using a brake disc is that it doesn't dissipate the heat quite as well as a drum. And the last thing that you want out on stage is to hit the brakes when you've got 10 tons behind you and nothing happens. 